What you doing back? It's kind of pineapple right now. I'm just put a whole chicken in the instant pot. And I'm gonna make chicken pot pie soup. Very special guest today, Morgan Gold. You guys may know Morgan. He's a duck man, a hilarious duck man, and a very popular YouTuber in this homesteading space surrounding that, his farm in Vermont. What's the secret to a good chicken soup? Making all the vegetables small, chopping them small, I think is the key to a good chicken soup. It's gonna be a whirlwind of content creation with Morgan. He's getting two videos of us. We're gonna get a video of him. We're gonna do a video podcast with him. Morgan Gold is here. Woo! -hoo. Just the time. Our cow's out. <laughs> okay, well, my, uh, my little man gate didn't work. So let's herd him in in a second and I'll show you around. Yeah, see our little man gate? Ah, Where you can walk through but the cow can't. Ooh. Except the cow can. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like almost like a shoe. <laughs> the cat, this one can't, because it she's bigger. I think we need one here. So I, I need, need we need another fence here, and then she's got to go like that. There's no way. So I've got something similar with my farm and under my barn. What I've done though is cut the width in half. So like uh -huh. you have to like sneak uh -huh. through versus and, so and like me sneaking through is a, still a fair amount of space, <laughs> but you got to sneak through and then I don't have any issues with it. So this now. is too wide. Yeah, like I would cut it in half. <clears throat> What do you think about this? Another, is that overkill or is this enough if it's just thinner? I think if it's just thinner, I think yeah. you're okay. Yeah, she's definitely not getting through. Right. It's only that little one. And that little one's probably not gonna be able to get through for too much longer. Right. You got cows, Morgan? I got cows, I got five Scottish Highland cattle. So uh, four, two cows, two heifers, and a steer. I guess we should tell people, you're from Vermont. Yeah, they need that shaggy <laughs> coat because it's pretty cold up there. I'm gonna say, you know, it was cold this morning, like 18 degrees. Yeah. That's like canceling film shoot weather. <laughs> yeah, see, that's Didn't like, oh, wow, it's pretty warm this morning. This is nice. <laughs> Sunshine's out. I think I'll just wear the hoodie. This is good. <laughs> Come on. She knows exactly what to do because she's been going out so much. What's cold? What's cold to you? Cold to me is anytime you're negative 10 or below, that's cold. That is cold. Anytime you have a day where you don't get above negative Fahrenheit that temperature, happens. that's cold. Oh, yeah. That's cold. That's when I'm like, ooh, this is cold. So why, cold. why are you down there? Are you, are you hunting a new place? To live? <laughs> no, no. I'm down here because I'm like, so I just recently actually quit my day job. Yeah. So for about four years, Good I was job. doing part-time farming, part-time day job. Yeah. Now it's full-time just woo! focusing on the farm. Like, woo. <laughs> so to like celebrate, I'm coming down, but then also I need to like get better with my infrastructure. Like, uh, how am I keeping my cattle? Uh, how am I keeping my chickens? I built a hoop coop. How do I manage that better? Like all of those things I want to learn. So that's, okay. that's why I'm here. What is it that you bring to the world? How, how, how do you serve the world? I mean, you were able to quit your job. What are you doing to serve people to be able to do that? I'd like to think it's my skills raising ducks and geese, <laughs> but I, I, what my favorite thing, two things to do are working on the farm yeah. and telling stories. And so I tell a lot of stories about ah. life on the farm and it's the combination of those two things that has gotten me to a place where now I'm just doing this full time. Ah, well we're gonna look at this cow shed in just one second, this mobile milking shed. But first, what's your favorite story you've ever told on your channel? My favorite What's story? closest to your heart, man? What yeah, are you most proud yeah. of? <laughs> I, th I think the story I'm proudest of is, and it's a multi-part piece, right? Yeah. But bringing my livestock guardian dog, Toby, to the farm and teaching him how to be a farm dog and what he needs to do uh, and getting him to work with the animals, that whole progression and seeing him grow, by far the story that hits me the best, like right here. Like, so that's an ongoing story. That's, that's not ongoing. a particular that, that, that took That took about uh, nine months, but there's one where it's talking about the story and the relationship between Toby and my barn cat Pablo yeah. and how they went from enemies to friends. That one video, that's the one that... What's the name of it? Uh, I think it's like my barn cat hates my guard dog or something <laughs> along those lines. This is our mobile milking shed. I guess you may have seen this at Ben and Meg's too. They have, yeah, I've actually just this morning was, was milking with Ben and he has... It's smaller though. Why is it so much bigger? Mine? Yeah. Well, I think, well, because we have a bull that's about this. Uh -huh. And so oh, we so wanted a room shelter for their, and a milking it's shelter. It's a shelter. Yeah. It, it, with permaculture and the way we do things is everything's multi-purpose. Yeah. It's not just a, it's a, it's a milking unit. It's a shelter. 
It's also a mineral sled. So everything in one. Wow. Same thing with the sheep shawl behind it. That's it's super efficient. So, it's just, so you're not having to, it's like, it's, and then you just tug it with the yeah. tractor or side by side or something. Yeah, you put it, you pull it with the Kubota. Yeah. Wow. See the chain, you can hook it up to either side and it just skids along. What video do you have that you wish and you think it deserves more attention? So I once, you know, my wife is on the farm with me. It's just my uh -huh. wife and me, we don't have kids. And people often ask like, why isn't she ever around in the videos? Ah. And so I actually made a video explaining that and that's probably the, <laughs> the best, most personal story I feel like I've ever done. Yeah. I understand you were just at Ben and Mag's. He's building some of these. Yeah, he showed me the setup. He's got two of them are painted, two of them aren't. And so, ah. yeah. Cool. Our philosophy is everything should be moved by hand. Yeah. We, we do move the mobile milking, but everything that can be, because we, we want Rebecca to be able to move it, we want the kids to be able to move it, we want the people we're teaching to one person be able to move it. Yeah. So I do a lot of geese on my farm. It's uh -huh. probably the main animal I'd say right now. And I want to actually get them moving behind the cattle uh -huh. because they're, they're almost playing the same role as sheep behind cattle right yeah where they're just grazing at a different level yeah that's cool and you know seeing something like this like i could see them working out Heck with yeah. something like that because yeah. they will range a little further than you want and then yeah. go missing <laughs> yes there's two more things i'll show you down here and then yeah. i'll take you on a on a broader tour and you'll have an idea of what you want to get awesome cows and sheep on deep bedding one of the best things we ever did our living room's right there morgan i mean our bedroom <laughs> so all right, here's talk about that, backyard homesteading. So you want to talk about <laughs> seeing something in a video versus real life that yeah. I did not expect? Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen the barn and I've been yeah. very impressed with it. I didn't realize how deep it goes in the paneling and how you have that part built. That was the not- The paneling is even there. We're going deeper. I mean, right. that's, that's to be four feet deep. And so do you raise it up or you just the keep it- The higher, the better. So on my farm, I have this ancient dairy barn. Uh-huh. And it's three stories. Wow. The third story actually has a ramp that goes out to the pasture. And so in the olden days, they drive the whole cart of hay up, store it on the third floor. Ah. They keep the cattle and milk the cattle on the second floor. And then they had these trap <laughs> doors. So the manure would just drop down to the first floor. Cool. And it's, yeah, just using gravity. Just do like you that. have a tour video of that? I do, I do, yeah. What's the name of it? <laughs> Dan, I'll Poor go back Dan. and look and I'll send you you're an gonna, email so you can tell. You're going to have Yeah, you're, you're quizzing me on all the names. <laughs> I forget them like immediately. Yeah, okay. Morgan, you can just poke your head in here. I'm sure we'll go into more detail with your with your thing, but we got pigs. You know how much warmer it is in here? It's amazing, yeah. Well, you do the greenhouse thing. Yeah, yeah. I found it's about 20, different, 20 degrees difference. Yeah, you do do the greenhouse thing. I don't know if you got pigs in there. I don't have pigs. Where's I don't have pigs, rabbits. Dude? You got to get pigs, pigs for everyone. Pigs are on the goes. list. Pigs are on the list for this year, actually. <laughs> That's If I can like say yeah i can do it i just gotta give myself one more pep talk i'm there i'm, I'm adding probably three <laughs> just three peter pigs to start pep start talk. that going we're gonna get this trailer out of the way so we can he wants a tour of the butchering shed all right go in here so what is your most popular video morgan my most popular video is about this gigantic duck that I have. His name is, or name was Samson. He was a jumbo Pekin duck who was actually given to us. And he grew to be about the size of a goose. Oh my And word. Um, he was an amazing duck, but that has been my most popular video. It got a couple million views. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a video that you think everybody here would be most interested in seeing that would just be so different? So I, really got started doing the farm thing you know I think back five years ago i was living in washington dc working a job i wasn't happy with watching videos like yours listening to podcasts like <laughs> dreaming of doing the farm thing and, and so i made a video really talking about that experience and kind of what it took to actually move from dc find the farm put all the pieces together and and i think for folks who are watching these videos i it could be a good one He's put up his 360 <laughs> camera on this, right? Yep. So if people had goggles. Well, so actually that shot's not gonna be 360, oh, but okay. I do do the 360. That camera though okay. is the best one to mount on animals. Oh. So I have put cameras on ducks, geese, chickens, barn cats, guard dogs. And there's a video I have that sort of shows how I do each one. 
it's so fun to see the perspective of the animal and what the world looks like from what their viewpoint <laughs> is. I feel like watching those videos has made me a better farmer. Now, in New York Times, I guess that was written a couple of years ago, they said, they said that didn't work out. You said you tried different things and the dog cam didn't work out. I, I perfected it. Oh. So, so this is a lesson in, you know, you think about farming, right? Yeah. You will fail over and over and over again yes. and it's so okay. Yeah. You gotta learn, find out what works, refine what you're doing. And so just like that, putting cameras on animals, you can find a way. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, we'll see. This is, this might be pretty cool. The camera right there while we pull this trailer out. How are you, Morgan? I am 41, yeah. I'll be 42 very soon. We're talking about the, the future of content creation, which we'll get into in the video podcast for yeah. sure. Do you still do your podcast? Intermittently. That's it's, how I got to know you, you know, right? Yeah, that was the first time you we ever chatted. You on yeah. your podcast. Yeah, no, that was a great conversation. So, you're talking about Meta. Yeah. I, t I told him, I feel like Joel Salatin does, you know, Joel Salatin is proud to not have a smartphone, he's got a flip phone. Like, at some point I'm too old to do this. Too old and scared. <laughs> uh, see, I think that there's always going to be new potential things that could either be awful or amazing. And yes. If you're not willing to give it a shot, yeah. like, you know, strap on the VR headset and see what it's actually like. Right. I actually think it's hard to, like, know if you truly like it or not if you don't I give don't it know. that chance. And that's true. So have you given it a chance? So somebody got me as a gift an Oculus headset. Uh, it, you know, see, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so it's it's, a, it's like it's a goggles you <laughs> put on. Of course, I didn't know TikTok have, at first. Like either. controllers, and so like when I make my 360 videos, yeah. right? You can go in there and you watch, and it's like being there. I made a video two wow. years ago. I've, I've watched so, it again. It's like time traveling. You're like you actually feel like you're there. It's pretty incredible. So you could do a tour of this place, and somebody could put their goggles on and feel like they're here. They could, absolutely. Maybe we'll no, do that sometime. See that 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 could be a benefit, but. Still freaks me out. All right, we got the trailer out of the way. We'll get your tour done. Folks can, folks are gonna want to see that tour you do on your channel. So mm -hmm. tell everybody the name of your channel. Yeah, so it's it's Goldshaw Farm, and okay. you know, put out a couple of videos a week just talking about life on our farm yeah. in Vermont. I think what's cool about Morgan is he really cranks out the content. He does a really good job with it, and it's really fun. He makes homesteading fun. So you're gonna go over there. You're gonna learn something. And you're gonna laugh, which is kind of our motto on our show. But that's I mean, why we do what we do, extra, right? You're like you have a lot of fun. It was funny reading the Times or the New York Times article about you because they're so serious. And then I hear your voice in there, and you're just goofing off and having a good time. But <laughs> look, life is too short not to have that good time, yeah. regardless of what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good job. All right, guys, go check out his channel. It's worth it.